previously on Dance Mom. Soldiers, are you ready? Yes, This is war. What about me? What about you? You're on suspension. That's good, right there. <laughs> That's it, good, good, good. I had some new headshots taken. Okay. Woo! That's beautiful. I'm gonna take Kenzie to the hospital. Mackenzie actually hurt her foot two weeks ago. Don't lie for your kids. I'm not, you I'm You lie enough her. yourself as it is. In seventh place. Abby Lee Dance Company. Coming up on Dance Moms. Group routine is about Rosa Parks. Do something with that face! We won last time, remember that. Did I have an amen? Amen. I can't choreograph that you're sitting over here. Maybe if we throw a stick, she'll leave. I'm not the one that fell down the ugly tree. I'm really not sure who I want to use to dress Parks. Let's give it to one of the blondes. What's the status with Rosa Parks? Christy and Kelly are going berserk. She just threw all of us under the bus. I'm really worried when Abby comes into the pyramid what she's going to say about seventh place. We're normally in the top three, and that's even hard to take. Seventh is awful. In seventh place with a score of 274.2 points is act number 84, Don't Ask Just How. I've been trying to figure out what does the Abby Lee Dance Company need to do to get back to first overall high score? We went all the way to Minnesota. I've never been there before. <laughs> and I'm probably never going back. Our top soloist couldn't even win. All right, now, for the pyramid. Mackenzie. I told you to stay off of your foot. I even went and got you a wheelchair so that you weren't standing on hard cement all day long. But you didn't listen. You were hopping all over the place. Melissa claims that she's injured, and then the next day she's fine and she can dance again. I don't know what to really believe. This week, you are benched. You will not be performing. Paige. You do a good job, it's fine, but I don't want good. I don't want fine. Paige could win a Nobel Prize, and she would still be at the bottom of the pyramid. But in the group dance, you're almost lethargic. You move slow. You don't have a lot of zip, a lot of energy. I don't know if it has something to do with me, but no matter what my kids do, they're always at the bottom. Bowie, have you learned your lesson? I hope so. Chloe is suspended. So is her mother. Replace us, that's fine. I don't like the pyramid, but I have really been trying to behave myself because it really means a lot for Chloe to be on that pyramid. Moving on up. Maddie, second, two weeks in a row. We're gonna see, do you have what it takes? Can you get past second? Next. Kendall. Jill, I used your new headshot that you gave me. I got some gorgeous headshots made for Kendall. Abby loved them. She put it on the pyramid. I didn't get the memo that we were supposed to stop and get new headshots for pyramid this week. Jill always has to one-up everybody. Do you guys Beautiful. like it? I didn't realize we were doing new headshots for the pyramid. Um, you never quite know what to expect from Jill. She claims she's not sneaky, but there's always some surprise. Kendall's a pretty girl. You have the face but you go on stage and you don't use it. And on top of the pyramid this week is Nia. I'm ecstatic. I am absolutely ecstatic that Nia's on the top of the pyramid. I thought you looked great. Your face was off the charts. You were Beyonce up there. I like that. Nia fierce. It's a payoff for all of that hard work, and it means a tremendous amount to her. Now, this week, we will be attending Powerhouse Dance Competition in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I have a rotten feeling that you know who is going to be there. The last time we faced Kathy, she beat us. And that can't ever happen again. There's nothing that ruins a competition 
people like Kathy. The group routine is about Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks serve as a catalyst for a civil rights movement by refusing to stand up and give up her seat on a bus. I didn't really learn about Rosa Parks in school, but I know who she is because of my mom. She broke down barriers, and she united entire races. I like routines that move the judges in some way. If the girls just do exactly what they're supposed to do, we may not be second. We may actually win this time. Since Mia's at the top of the pyramid and the dance is called Rosa Parks, and obviously this is a part destined for Nia. Don't assume anything. I have no idea who will play Rosa Parks. <clears throat> really? <laughs> I'm just saying. I absolutely want Nia to play the role of Rosa Parks. But this is the big lead role in the number this week. She has to give it her all before I'm even going to let her know that the part is hers. I'm annoyed. Here is finally a part for Nia, and Abby's playing games. Holly, what's going on with the short skirt? And your hair's in your face? I mean, come on. Surprised you don't like my style. I, I, I don't. <laughs> Who is Abby to be calling Holly out on her fashion sense? I mean, really? My favorite part about Abby's accessories is that they're all organized in a shoebox by color. Red plastic rhinestone crap. Blue plastic rhinestone crap. I don't know. I just think that an award-winning costume designer would have picked something better. Judges award for fierce costume. Congratulations to number 25. You made your costume. Well, my mom made my costume. You have stylists on your resume now, too? Oh, I've been dressing people for years. I've been dying to spruce up Holly a little bit. So, with the Rosa Parks thing dangling over her head, this might just be the week. Kendall, you will be doing a solo again this weekend. The name of your routine is Look At Me Now. We're going to do some exercises about this space. My other solo will go to Maddie. The name of your routine this week is Breaking Down Walls. Now remember, I gave you a lifeline, you dropped it. You had to climb up a hill, and you rolled back down. I was really sad that I won second place last week, but I'm really happy now that Msabi gave me another chance so I can win. We're going to see. Do you have what it takes? I have one more routine. Paige, for years, you have begged me to do a duet with Chloe. And all this time, I've been waiting for you to step it up to her level. So I don't have to wait any longer. Because Chloe, you've slipped down to that level. So Chloe has to be bad for Paige to get yeah. in. Abby has to totally ruin the moment and be like, Paige, you haven't had a duet with Chloe because you don't dance as good as Chloe. But now that Chloe isn't dancing so well, you can have a duet with her. The name of your duet is Broadway Blondes. The style of your routine is jazz. Ladies, I'm going to ask you to spread apart. We're going to get started on the group routine. Moms, you're dismissed. Go head upstairs. Chloe's back on the pyramid. Who would have ever thought I'd be excited to be on the pyramid? This season has really been rough on the girls, between suspensions, you know, strikes, injuries. It's taken 12 weeks to get those seven little girls back wow. on that pyramid. Really? It is so great to have the team together. It's nice to see me at the yeah. top. Really excited about that. That was a surprise. Nia, come here. I want you to demonstrate this for everyone. Inverted knee and a devil pain. It's up to upstage. Did you see her face when she said Rosa Parks? I know, Nia was gleaming. And then she goes, make no assumptions. Like, really? Let's give it to one of the blondes. I, I'm shocked. She doesn't know who's going to play Rosa Parks. Well, Rosa Parks is standing right in front of you. No, she has to get the part. Oh, my god, because if not, can you imagine she if she was like, Chloe, you're going to be Rosa Parks. Like, how could you make Chloe look like Rosa Parks without being too controversial? Oh, boy. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what Abby's thinking. I mean, clearly, Nia should be the one to play Rosa Parks. Anything else would be inappropriate. Mackenzie, do you know what being benched is? Being benched means that either you have an injury or, like... I'm the referee, and I benched you. I told you I wanted you to stay off of that foot. You were hopping all over the place. 
And look, you're still all taped up. Miss Abby benches me because last week I, she thinks that I was doing cartwheels on my other foot, but I wasn't. Walk up on that step and freeze. This Rosa Parks routine is extremely technical, and the girls are so sloppy. The timing was really off. I can't get through more than five seconds without stopping somebody to correct something they should already know. Both of you were off the music. We just told Brooke and Paige the same thing. These girls are rehearsing like they're seventh place dancers, not national champions. And I think their mothers are to blame. She can't let you walk out of there feeling good about yourself. She could ruin anything. Holly is angry about the Rosa Parks situation. Kelly is mad about the duet. I don't even want my kid to do it. Why? Because she pretty much said, my kid sucks. That's why she never had one. Oh, Kelly, please it don't hurts. take that away from them. Well, no thanks. I'll pass. It's Give it to somebody else. Thing. Shut up. They've waited forever. Quit stealing their joy. That's Abby's job. If you guys would have walked in here, done what we started earlier, perfectly, we would be going on right now. But we can't do that because you don't really care. Who's she yelling at? We're doing a routine about Rosa Parks. She cared. She stood up for it. She was arrested. She went to jail for something she was passionate about. You don't care if you win or not. You care how many Instagram things you get. I'm sick of the negativity. It spreads like wildfire to these girls. And I'm the one left to pick up the pieces, and I've had it. Parents, if you would just stand over here, please. Let's go back to the last competition. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Last time we saw Abby, we won. We won big time, and boy, did it feel good. But my question to you is, was it luck? We need to stay on top of things. We need to be at our best, better than our best, every time. So we won, all is good. We're gonna win again when we go to competition. I've always known that my boys are better dancers than Abby's girls. And now Abby knows it, too. I'd like to talk about the pyramid. Brandon, I think that you've got so much to give. You've got this ultimate dazzling smile, but I need to see your dancing dazzle as much as your smile. Nick, do you know how many dancers in the country want this opportunity? And we came after you. Gino, you are like the most fabulous Turner. Don't let your perfectionism get in the way so that it becomes a negative, OK? All right, so that leaves us to the top of the pyramid, Jalen. Yeah. So we are going to do a dance that's called Candy Apple Style, and it is a takeoff of the Gangnam Style. Yeah. yeah. Our group number. It's highlighting Jalen with all of his hip-hop skills and his crazy moves that he does. I think this is going to knock Abby Lee right off of her high, no, she doesn't wear high heels. It's going to knock her socks off. And then, let's see, we still have to talk about our soloist. Jalen, you will be doing a, a solo this week, OK? Yeah. So, yes. So you have an opportunity to knock it out of the park. Abby is going to be completely knocked off her A-game when she sees Jalen. He has hip-hop moves that no one has seen, and he's going to pull all of those out of his little bag of tricks. You guys are just it for me. You're my it boys. We got to have a clean sweep this week. I'm meeting somebody here. here. She doesn't really dress right for her body. When Holly walks into a room, she should make a statement. But she's not making a very good statement. She has the badunka you know? Yeah. And she has well, the thighs. I got a little bit of that, too. And she has, like, big bunions. And she wears these short skirts and these open-toed shoes. And you're like, oh, my gosh. I'm going to take her on a little shopping spree. Yeah. I want to revive her look. 
I'm gonna make her fabulous. Oh! Hi! What a cute star. What's Jill doing here? Hi. Uh, she invited me for moral support. You look very nice. Jill, this isn't about you. I know, it's about Holly. I came Listen, to help. Did you finally she... get something special? I know. It's gonna pay off for Nia, but now we can't discuss Nia because you brought another mom. Well, you can discuss Nia. I won't. No. I won't listen. No, I won't say no. a word. When Holly told me that Abby was going to take her shopping, I really wanted to be there. I know that the role of Rosa Parks hasn't been assigned to any of the dancers yet, and I really want to take this opportunity to speak with Abby and find out what she's looking for. If she's not going to cast Nia, it might as well be Kendall. You have to look like you know how to dress your body. I think I know how to dress myself. Come with me. I'll show you the difference. All of this. The knees, the calves, the ankles. Cover it up. Well, these are zeros. Let's move away from here. I found some stuff. How about when two adults are speaking? Excuse me. Excuse me, I found you some. Let's get in the dressing room and let's start. How pretty this Jill, skin. you're not wanted. Normally, Abby's not the type of person I would take fashion advice from, but I want Nia to be considered for Rosa Parks, and if it makes Abby happy to dress me up for a little bit, I'll go right along with it. Abby, yesterday Nia said that you weren't sure who was still doing the Rosa Parks dance. No. And, you know, I keep getting uh, thrown under the bus for typecasting. Holly has forever been accusing me of typecasting. You think Holly would want me to give her the part because she deserves it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I have to make Nia earn this role. And that is going to make her a better dancer. So, Abby, what's the status with Rosa Parks? Have you seen the number long enough to figure out who's going to play? I just the started part? the number. I didn't even get the props in the street. Yeah, well, yet. that's why I asked what the status is. What are you thinking about it? I can't believe Jill's lobbying for her daughter to take this part away from Nia. Jill, I brought you along to kind of be a buffer, not to absorb opportunities for your child to get ahead. I don't know. I mean, you know, come on. Maddie's the strongest dancer. So I don't know if I'm going to use her for Rosa Parks and go against type. I have no idea. I, I know you want Kendall to work on her face. And if that's what you want, then I need to get that for Kendall. You know what, Jill? If she gets it, she's going to get it on her own. Excuse me, Jill. I'm going to get back to her. OK, too. OK. That Jill is just unbelievable. She is shoving her kid down my throat. I want you out of the store. You're not seeing what I'm buying. Go. Poof, be gone. in. You know, Mommy's always busy with the boys and everything, and I don't get to do, like, privates with you, so this is a good opportunity that I've got some time off. I really miss Vivi being on my team now that I have all boys, but I'm trying to sneak in every opportunity I can to work with her. Nothing makes me happier than watching my baby dance. So what I wanted to work on today was some ballet technique and stretches, OK? So let's stand at the bar, right, right hand on the bar. Pull your belly in, press your derriere down, and prepare your arm. Demi, and straighten, and releve. Now I want you to keep your shoulders down. Pull your knees up, good. Keep your tummy tucked. Keep your tummy tucked in. Press down with your derriere, and lift, hold, hold. Come on, hold on. Hold on, squeeze your derriere. Nice job, don't roll, roll on those feet. Keep the little toes on the ground. Vivi is at this age where she is growing up so fast, and I just don't want to miss anything. I'm trying my hardest to make sure that I have time for her, because I don't want to blink my eyes and have my baby all grown up. I have to get back to the boys, <laughs> OK? And I snuck away so I could spend a couple minutes with you. OK. Love you, honey. You have this gorgeous face, and you get on stage, and there's nothing happening. You try so hard. It's like, I get a little sass. I get a little, and then you hit the turns, and you're like this. And your mouth is open, and flies are going to go in there someday. You nest. I'm not sure Kendall will ever be ready to play Rosa Parks, but she must use her face in her solo. All right, face that way. Shock surprise. Really? Really? You're running around with your hands like this? No. Surprised. I feel like Abby's giving me my own private lesson with my facial expressions. 
shot. One, two, three. It's really weird for Abby to pick me out of everybody to work on something that I need to improve. Evil. No, that's not evil, that's silly. Evil. I really want to prove to Miss Abby that I can do my facial expressions just as she taught me. Now let's do happy. Sad. Pouting. See, I'm good at it. <laughs> when we do the dance and I teach you your lesson, I want to see every one of those faces. If Kendall's not going to act out the emotion during her solo, then she's not going to be Kathy. And I'm finished giving her solos. Well, you know, what's up with the duet? Are we ever going to learn the duet? Who knows? Where's Kendall? I don't know where Kendall She's is. over it. Where was Kendall? Was there anything She okay? was sitting in the um, dressing room with Abby. They were going over, she, she was going over facial expressions. Oh. For this? No, I'm assuming for her solo, but I wasn't there. Wow, what do you got to do to get, like, facial expressions? Our kids don't even have choreography. <laughs> Shell is so ridiculous. She's always sneaking around behind our backs, trying to get Kendall ahead. I mean, we have so much going on this week. I really don't think Abby should be wasting her time working on Kendall's faces in a mirror. The way that Abby's telling the story is like it gets kind of lost in translation. You know how Abby starts with a theme and then it develops and then it's kind of not like what she initially told you it was going to be about? I don't even know who's playing Larissa Parks. Every time I look at you, Mia, because you're the obvious choice, your feet are like hooves. You're flexing your foot and you're clenching your toes. We're going to do an epic routine about a woman who changed history. I honestly want Nia to be good enough to play the role of Rosa Parks, but I don't know if she is. This one over here was over there trying to pitch her daughter to Abby as being Rosa Parks. When Holly told me that Jill invited herself to go shopping with Holly and Abby, it didn't surprise me at all. I knew that this was Jill's way of being sneaky and her way of talking to Abby, trying to get Kendall the lead. You actually asked her for that part. No, what, no. I said <laughs> it, it would be a good part for Kendall because she needs to work on her acting and her face. I really think you're, like, delusional no, about Jill. No, I didn't Jill, say, you think that that's Kendall. a good part for her. I don't understand why these moms are so upset over this. Their kids get lead roles all the time. Kendall does not. Kendall always gets overlooked. Here's an opportunity for my child to have a lead role, and it's driving them crazy. I'm the only one who gets in trouble for wanting something. Well, for because my none child. of us do crazy stuff like you do to get. What did kid. I do crazy? Well, you asked Abby if Kendall could be Rosa Parks. I'm the only one who gets in trouble for wanting something. You asked Abby if Kendall could be Rosa Parks. That's no, a little crazy. I didn't. You weren't there. Kendall never had a special part, people. I think every one of your kids has. Jill will do anything for a special part, even if it means that Kendall is Rosa Parks. Really? If anybody is Rosa Nia. Parks but Nia, I'm not watching the dance. And I don't think that anyone should be Rosa Parks but Nia. Why these moms are coming down on me so hard, I I can't stand it. We think you should go down and say, you know what? I think I was mistaken. I don't think that this would be a good part for Kendall. I think Mia fits this role. Just act stupid and be like, I thought Rosa Parks was somebody different. <laughs> I thought she was, I thought she was a, a, a immigrant. thin white girl with brown hair and brown eyes. <laughs> Abby, do you have a minute? I just need to let you know that Christy and Kelly are going berserk that they think Kendall is playing Rosa Parks. Oh, wait, let me just say for the record, she just threw all of us under the bus. The mom said Kendall can't be Rosa Parks. What do you think? Nia needs to think she has competition. I can't just hand it to her on a platter. Healthy competition is good for every dancer. But leave it to the moms to get involved and mess it all up. But why? Is that bimbo running this studio? It would make perfect sense for Nia to play Rosa Parks. They badgered me and badgered me and until you I came. Out. I did because I had so to. So you just took your kid and put her on the back burner for somebody well. else. Kendall's never had special parts. 
So this might be the last one the poor kid ever gets. And here I am letting these moms badger me into taking it away from her. I can't win, really. Kendall, your mother just took you out of the running for Rosa Parks. Mia, you will be playing the part of Rosa Parks. This is a huge lead role, so you better make me proud. I'm not sure what caused Abby not to give Nia the part of Rosa Parks from day one, but I'm glad Nia has it now. Hey, Kelly! Yes? Kelly has been so negative since I assigned Paige a duet with Chloe. Paige has a duet. It's hard, it's difficult, and I want her to embrace that, and I want her to do it. I need Kelly to be supportive of Paige, not to sabotage your own kid with her negativity. You give her the duet and it's all negative. So it's like, Chloe sucks, just like you, so you're getting a duet. But go out there and do it well. Well, I think she needs to come in there and try to prove me wrong. Okay. Be and tougher, I hope she be does. stronger. I, I hope, hope she, she does. does. All right, girls. This is it. Show me what you've got. Oh, look, the duet. Yay! Oh, I don't know if I want Paige to do the duet. You know, I think Abby's setting her up for failure, and I don't want to put my kid through that. Broadway Blondes is a sassy, hot jazz number. It accentuates the beautiful long lines and legs on Paige and Chloe. Uh, that's horrible. That's four stars playing on the left leg. I want them to dance well. I want them to do good. I, I just want it to be a happy thing for those two. I think you're capable of doing more things together. You need to be in sync. You need to mirror each other. I think it could be great. I don't think it's great yet. I need Paige to really pay attention to the choreography if she's going to be any match for Chloe's technique. All right. Chloe, you're dismissed, Paige. I want to talk to you for a second. Oh, God. If Abby yells at my kid about this duet, I'm pulling it. I'm not letting Abby treat my kid this way. Paige, you have it all. You're tall, you're lean, you're gorgeous, but you don't go through A and B and C to get to D. You think you can just skip over it. I know I'm tough on Paige, but that's my job. I need to correct her mistakes and make her a better dancer. It's Kelly's job as the mom to build her daughter up with confidence and be her cheerleader. But Kelly's not doing it. So now it's my job. If you want to be better than Chloe and you want to be better than Maddie and better than Kendall and better than your sister, you have to work more. Well, like, I, I think this is very good that Abby's talking to Paige like this. Like, she should do this more often. If you don't like what I have to say, you have two options. You either quit, and I'll never see you again, or you come back in here and you prove me wrong. Make me eat crow. All right, go, give me a hug. See ya. I don't think Paige knows what eat crow means. I'll explain that to her, though, because I'd like to have I'd her like make to Abby eat crow. And a little more than that. Crow with a little on top. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, Maddie. Let's do it. Breaking down the wall. Are you going to break down the wall? Or is the wall going to be nice and strong and you're like, I throw you against the wall and you're like, splat. Maddie's dance this week is called Breaking Down Walls. It's a contemporary piece. And it's just saying, you know, breaking down the walls, I'm trying to get back to first place. You need to use your stomach on your jumps. Back leg higher, straighter. Each week, I think Maddie's choreography gets better and better. This dance this week is so difficult. I'm really excited to see it on stage. I have to show you the cutest thing. It's so cute. Mackenzie, like, locks herself in her bedroom. I went on her 
computer. So Mackenzie's been doing all these tutorials, and it's so cute. Melissa is hilarious sometimes. We all know that Melissa thinks Maddie's the best dancer, and she can't help bragging about it to anyone who cares. <laughs> but who knew that Mackenzie was the star makeup artist? Where'd she get the idea to do that? I don't know. So she not only did the tutorial, filmed herself, had her materials, and then she actually put it up on the internet. What? So, Melissa, you're telling me you let her in a room by herself, and you don't know what she's doing behind a locked door? But, you know, she figured out how to get my credit card number to do iTunes. Ooh. It's hard for Mackenzie sometimes to be in Maddie's shadow, and I'm glad for her because she's not dancing. So it's really nice that she's like the little makeup star this week. Big plie fourth arabesque push. Cross in front, suit to new, contract. Tondu and easy, easy, easy. Maddie is nailing the technique in this routine, but I have to make sure that she's also nailing the emotional execution. The wall crumbles, and now suddenly you realize that you broke it down, and you're leaving, and you're on your way, and you gotta say goodbye to her, and Mackenzie, and everybody else. You know, when you're headed to stardom, you can't take along the whole group. All right? It's better without them. OK. I Thank you. Have... All right, this is Nia, who is now playing the role of Rosa Parks. Thank you. Yeah, you because know, Jill gave it up. Oh, Abby is never going to let me live this down, and neither will those moms. These are pretty. Mm -hmm. They're cute. You want to set that on, and we'll just see. I like the big hat. I think that that would be a good church hat for you, I Dr. Holly. I was thinking Holly. about that. I think that could be that. Can I have an amen? Amen. Ladies, get home and get packed. Tomorrow morning, I want to see the girls here. They have to run all these numbers before they get on that bus. All right? Go, Thank go, you. go, go, go. Thank you. Our group number is called Candy Apple Style. It's a K-pop number, and there's a lot of funky jazz. We'll go up even like our boom, boom. Anthony Burrell is an in-demand choreographer. He has worked with such entertainers as Jay-Z and Beyonce. We are incredibly lucky to have him help us go against the ALDC team. Five, six, seven, eight. Ba, 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 boom. Anthony is quite an artiste, and he wants to make sure that we all know that. And that's, that's the energy that I'm missing from you guys. You guys got all these amazing tricks, but you have no pop. He is extremely hard on the boys. Stop punching that foot like that. Point it. Point it all the way. Yes. Point it. Stretch that knee. That's how you stretch your foot. Don't sit on top of it, crunching it. Put your hands down. Come again, improv again. Don't baby these guys, they're boys. Hey, they need men in hey, their life, they need men. Do you like affection? I like affection, but okay, outside, then. outside of the studio. Kathy is easy on those guys. She treats them like they're little girls, and there's no space for that. Tell them to do 25 push-ups, you know? We can't have our boys as dainty as the girls on the dance floor. I don't want you babying them. That doesn't happen in my studio when I'm with boys. Well, it just so doesn't you happen. just said a mouthful, darling, in your studio. We're in my studio. OK, and that's and exactly. Since it's your studio, did you want to do this? I'm absolutely not the type of person that will back down from Kathy. Whenever I step in the studio, I don't care if this is your studio, your house. You invite me here, this is my room. I can't choreograph with you sitting over here on my, over my shoulder I'm like this. I'm not sitting over your shoulder. Now, I could be sitting on your lap. Would you like that? You, you figure the combination out. OK, fine. Go count to 10. Maybe you take 10 dance classes. Don't baby these guys. They're boys. Go count to 10. Maybe you take 10 dance classes. This lady is tripping, man. I don't need a watchdog over my back, you know, when I'm when I'm being creative, and I, I can't work like this. I just can't. That's why she always gets slaughtered by Abby. She's a handful, you know. She she's very opinionated. She has her hand in in all the pots. I do know that she comes off a little strong, and then um, 
she will listen to reason. But let me just chill off a little bit. Just because this this is her house. This yeah. is her school. Thanks, man. It's good, though, man. Yeah, she, she's definitely a handful. But you know, I respect her, you know? You know, I respect what she does. Are you feeling better? Mm hmm Good. This is it. You're getting on a bus. You're going to Cincinnati, and you're going to see your old dancing teacher there, the one your mother thought was better than me. Kathy does not get any credit for Kendall. I don't care. She taught her nothing. You're going to get out there and dance against her kids. Don't lose. There's a lot of pressure on Kendall to win this week. Woo! More energy, face, face. That gorgeous face is the key to scoring high with the judges. Face, 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 face. Come on. Get away from that mirror. Breathe, breathe. Face is bad, 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 bad. Do something with that face. Go sit in front of that mirror and work on those faces. Miss Abby really wants to focus on my face, and I agree with her because I need some work. <laughs> Happy, excited, mad, evil. It's really funny doing facial expressions with Kendall. Scared. <gasps> I'm like Miss Abby, and I'm like telling her what to do. Excited. <gasps> After a while, I think we were just making up faces. We were having so much fun, and we didn't want to stop. Do what Miss Abby does best. Since we beat Abby, we have had so much local support. We're practically famous around town. <laughs> So I thought that it was about time to give the outside of our studio a facelift. And today is the day that we're showing it off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Candyapolis. Kathy, it is my privilege and honor to present you with this plaque commemorating your victory over Abby Lee's dance studio. Oh, thank you so much. Today is Candy Apples Day. I would like to make every day Candy Apples Day. Do you agree? for you to do the honors. We are winners, and now our studio looks like a place where winners dance. All right, guys, we're open for business. Let's go. All right, Maddie, come on. The name of the song is Breaking Down the Wall. That's what I need to see you do. Don't get caught that way. Get out there. Nice. This routine is exquisite. It shows that Maddie truly is a star, and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure she reaches her full potential. Come on, these are the points. Come on, come on, hold on, hold on, press down, longer knees. There you go, nice. And beating Kathy is just the cherry on top. If you're going up against boys, you know you can win. You've done it already. Did you say that Kathy would be decorated? We got a facelift yeah. at the candy apples. When I gather on the internet, it seems that Kathy has painted the exterior of her studio. It's all the money she's making. They look like big tomatoes. Let me see. I got to look. What are those deers jumping out? Everything Kathy touches turns tacky. She has these big red tomatoes painted on her wall. The dancers look like they have deer antlers coming out of their heads. I would like to know if she spelled candy apple, because she had an apple. Oh, like, the apple owned pipen. the studio. Kathy probably thinks she's so high class because she painted her building. <laughs> You're about Jalen's size. In coming with me here today, I want you to be my model. Mm -hmm. Can you do that for me? I have to do some shopping for Jalen's solo costume, and I thought that I could spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Vivi. Because Jalen moves on his head and that sort of stuff, I need to see if the costumes are gonna move. So can you like break that out on the floor for me at any moment? Let's, let's start out with the police uniform. Do you think that you can try this on? Oh. Oh, do we know the Muffin Man? What the heck is this doing? Oh, I see. 
Maybe he could be like a motorcycle person. It's short. Bam! And pose. It's a bit long. Push it and throw it. That was good, honey. Do you think that he would look like he's from Wall Street? Yeah. Do you know what Wall Street is? No. No, OK. Yeah, it was a movie, honey. It was a movie. Just let me see what a couple of these things look like. You make, without a doubt, the cutest cowboy to rob a bank. All right. Well, I think that we've got what we need. Vivi, hurry up, honey. Let's get your clothes on. Hey. Okay. I have costumes for Chloe and Paige, your duet costumes. Oh, I see ruffles. Now you're going to wear black fishnet tights, black jazz shoes. Oh, I thought they were Broadway. No. No, girl. Well, the name of the dance is Broadway Blondes. Yeah. There's not much fabric on those, Abby. Yeah. All right, go try it on. Let's oh, see. Go ahead. These costumes are ridiculous. They're more for Vegas than Broadway. They are gorgeous. Rose between two thorns. They're more for Vegas than Broadway. Are you sure the judges aren't going to think these are too skimpy for their age? No. Do you guys like the costumes? Yeah. The duet costume is pushing it. But if I go to Abby and complain, she's going to take the duet away from Chloe and Paige. I don't know if I want them wearing those costumes in front of the boys. I guess I'll just look at these costumes and imagine that it's just a swimsuit. And they're at the pool. Come on, girls. Let's get back in there. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? We're on borrowed time here, so we need you to get moving. I do this with Vivi every morning. I wonder if it's possible to just build this shirt on the front of this shirt. The name of Jalen's routine is working nine to five. And he is going to portray three different professions. He's incorporating his dance skills along with movable takeoff props. Do it again. See if that was luck. Oh. And between the intricate costume changes and Anthony's tough way of teaching, I hope that Jalen can learn this routine. Boom, think, think timing. You go toss, boom. So look, first of all, you got to look where you're throwing so you can see, boom, boom, pop. So you can know the timing, where it was going. See where it's going, boom, pop, boom, boom. Oh. Mix it, mix it. I have, I have, I have a really good idea. From this position, Jalen, since you have the rag in your hand, is this the transition position? Yeah. Why don't you go from here, spin into a ninja, drop. Then you can come up, change it. It's kind of disrespectful to a choreographer when there's an outside voice harboring over your shoulder. But you could almost just leave that on the floor when you get up from your ninja and dish rope and come forward. His father doesn't have the experience that I have of a stage performer. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, girls. We're ready to go. I'm questioning whether I ever should have given Chloe and Paige a duet. Paige is the one who begged me for this duet. And I figured since Chloe wasn't at her peak, this would be the perfect time to bring these two girls together. But right now, Paige is not cutting it. And I know it's because of Kelly's bad attitude. Come on, match your faces. I'm hoping that Paige and Chloe can dance in sync. Because if two dancers doing a duet aren't in sync, it's a disaster. Now, these girls really need to focus, especially Paige. Two, three, four, and exit. Paige, try her duet costume on last night. They're wearing fishnets, which makes it even worse. <laughs> and, and how about the music? This doesn't sound Broadway blondie. I know Kelly is really struggling with the duet. The costumes are skimpy. Yes, the music is racy but we really just have to make the best of it if we want our girls to have the chance to be featured. Do you like the duet? I don't want it if that's the attitude she's going to have towards it. You guys wouldn't have liked it if she presented it to your kids that way either. I thought she was mean to Chloe, too. You know, Kel, you might be my friend, but you better not try to take this away from Chloe. She needs this. I mean, she needs a chance to shine. i am just got to go with it. So 
I tend to think that, you know, they like to really come out and, and impress the girls. So let's let them do it. It's fun to perform in front of your peers. So I asked the girls if they wouldn't mind being a live audience for the group number of the boys. On your legs, three, four, five, six, turn, and one, two, turn. Bop, bop. Jalen, what you doing, man? You missed your cue? Make it happen. This is showtime. You have an audience here. Jalen, why did you miss your cue, Jalen? Jalen. It's because you don't pay attention in rehearsal. That's why. This is what happens. You have to take precaution. If it happens on stage, what are you going to do? I missed my cue because of what? Somebody was there? Come out. Do your thing. It doesn't matter. Jalen missed his cue, and that is not good. He is the star of this routine, and we need to have him nail this. I'm only screaming at you because I care, you know? So you can get your moment, man. You know, I'm depending on you to, to make this that, that, that section pop. I want you to be the best that you can be, yeah? Jalen is my child. And then for someone to yell at him in that manner, I would usually get up and take control of the situation. It's hard for me to stand by and watch Anthony be so hard on the boys, especially Jalen. I just hope that they can shake this performance off and get out any mistakes now so that they can be perfect for tomorrow. I'm doing all the girls' makeup because I'm really bored. <laughs> so what? I'm I'm putting lip gloss on you, make you look less. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I cut in my mouth. That doesn't look right. <laughs> hey, hey. Woo! Look at you. Cool. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? You were doing nothing? I was doing makeup. You're doing makeup? Well, that's okay. What's wrong with doing makeup? I'm going to sit down because I don't like this lipstick I have on, so hit me up. <laughs> Mackenzie is benched this week, but that doesn't mean I can't put her to work. <laughs> is that better? Mm -hmm. That's better. Is that better? <laughs> Since you like doing makeup so much, you can be in charge of the makeup this weekend. You're going to do the whole group, and guess who you're going to start with? <laughs> Maddie. No! <laughs> no, she didn't let me do is her it bad? makeup. She's not in charge. I'm in charge. And I say you're doing it. I'm really nervous that I might mess up the makeup. I don't want Miss Abby to yell at me. Ta -da! We have fun. Not only is the Rosa Parks piece artistry in motion, but they also have a lot of props to deal with. They have hats and bus seats, and there's not a lot of time to master them. Look, your feet can't come apart and be a mess. You need to really pull up through your spine to tuck your head under. Don't single your feet, Brooke. Wing them. Timing. The foot is flexed there. I want this to be one of those big award-winning numbers. And these girls are not ready to compete. And we're leaving in a few minutes. The Abby Lee Dance Company needs a victory. We need to beat Kathy. Mia, you are portraying Rosa Parks, a great American hero. You're going to tell the story? Or are you going to be a strong woman? Are you going to change history on the stage? Listen, girls, please, stop, stop. Take the earplugs out. Pay attention. We are going to Ohio. And you know what that means. I do not want to lose to Kathy. The last time we faced Kathy, she beat us. And that can't ever happen again. Now, I've tried really hard to create better team unity. And this team needs to lead us to victory. come up and tell yeah, us what you learned about Rosa Parks with all your research? Nia stayed up all night making this poster of Rosa Parks. This is not just any role. This is a role about a woman who changed history for me and for many others. And I couldn't be proud of Nia to have the opportunity to teach people about Rosa Parks. She 
sat down on the bus and they asked her to move and she politely didn't say anything and she just sat there. I'm proud of Nia. She came in with this full-blown poster about Rosa Parks. I'm glad she's taking the role seriously because if you're gonna win it, you have to want it. This is a little something that when I saw it, I thought of you. Chill! Stop! I know you wanted Kendall to be Rosa. I know you wanted me to just no, break, I didn't. break those stereotypes no, and go for it. I want Kendall to have opportunities, and you're giving them to her. And that's all uh, I want. Look Very at nice. this! After Nia shares her poster of Abby, Jill slides in and gives Abby a necklace. This woman is ridiculous. She's trying to bribe her gifts. She'll do whatever she can to get her daughter ahead. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Candy Hi. apples. Nice We're checking in. All right. <clears throat> Come on, girls, let's go, let's go. Up, oh, I feel the earth move under my feet. Ba -ba -ba -boom, ba -ba -ba -boom, ba -ba -ba boom We're here at Powerhouse Dance Competition in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am on a mission to win. I just have to keep my blinders on from any and all distraction. Hey, boys, we could be cocky. We won last time, remember that. Hi, how are you? Hey, excuse me for just a moment. Hi. Don't touch me. Oh, bodyguards. After that last assault. Kathy needs a bodyguard, like I need another psycho mom at my dance studio. She's the one that hit me. I'm the one that should hire a bodyguard. I didn't even know the lid was off. You know what? Because I didn't mean to do that either. I want to thank you guys for being beside me, because you never know when water's going to fly out of their hands or a fist. Who said they saw Kathy with a bodyguard? She does not have a bodyguard. That's. Funny. She's the one who comes up, oh, you know, with her insults and then starts beating on you. Go ahead. Water doesn't hurt me. Grow up. You grow up. If Kathy makes her, if she makes herself feel good with having like two of cops money. walk around, like that's the only way Kathy can get men to hang out with her. Either bribe them to be on her team or pay them to guard her. Kathy needs bodyguards? She's the one who accosts all of us. I mean, Kathy has hit me twice thrown water on me, thrown water on Abby, beat Abby with a purse, tried to beat Jill with a purse, and threw water on her. I think, if anything, we need a bodyguard and a sponge. Holly, what do you have on? Clothing. Let me see. Is this an Abby authorized outfit? No. It's red and black. You could do better. Holly, I'm trying to pizzazz you up, all right? Oh, Lord. Pizzazz. <laughs> How about if you take this? Everything's in here and jump behind the dressing room and get yourself changed. Here I am getting a costume from Abby, just like the girls getting costumes. And I have to try it on in the back and come out and show off my costume. Ready for me? Yes! You're beautiful. This is Abby's ensemble. And this makes a statement, though. You walk in, I'm here. Rosa Parks wouldn't walk in like me and little, no. But what was it about Holly that you didn't like that you felt you needed to change? I gave Nia the part of Rosa Parks. She's a star. And now, Holly looks like a leading lady, too. Mackenzie, come on over here. I don't know if all the moms heard or not. You think they know what your role is here? What your job's going to be? Yes. Mackenzie is the official makeup artist for the Abby Lee Dance Company. She's going to do all the girls' makeup, and the moms have no say in the matter. Jill, as soon as you get that hair finished over there, Mackenzie's going to start with Kendall. So I want to see Mackenzie's work first. Oh, no, 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 no. Kendall's first. Usually, Maddie does Mackenzie's makeup. I know. Kenzie's <laughs> not the makeup guru. Yeah. Maddie is. Well, she sure was the makeup guru the other day, weren't you? So make sure the makeup helps her facial expressions. All righty? All right, let's go. I don't think Mackenzie is qualified to do makeup on six girls right before competition. Yeah, do one more little bit, little bit darker. That's great. You did good. Just a, that's really dark. Yeah. 
I'm excited that Mackenzie gets a special job for the competition. She's not dancing, so this is something special for her to do. OK, OK. This one here? Uh-huh. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job. It was hard, but I pulled it off. Did you do Kendall? Or I see your mother over there wiping off your work. No, I'm wiping off the lipstick that ended up up here by accident. She looks great. She did a great job. She's lying. OK, Matt. Oh, I love mm -hmm. it. Oh, you look like Cinderella. The girls look great. And it's time to go out there and win. I need my soloists to beat Kathy. All right, let's do this. Right now, it's time for the intimidation face. Nose up, chin out, confidence. Unhappy faces, and unhappy face from her as well. Okay. Kendall has worked really hard on her facial expressions this week, and I hope she goes out there and nails this number to remind Abby she should give her more solos. All right, here we go in the junior small group division. This is Kendall with Look At Me Now. <laughs> and bright, and she deserves that. Maddie is under a lot of pressure right now. She hasn't gotten first place in the last few weeks, and she wants to please Miss Abby. So this is big, big. This has to be a win for her. All right, up next in our junior stone division, we have entry number 34. This is Maddie with breaking down. <laughs> Yeah. 
of a star. Already, she performs like a seasoned professional. Take that, Kathy. Jalen's solo is unlike any other routine at this competition. I just hope that he can make his costume changes because with this performance, we can win. All right, up next in the junior solo division, we have Jalen with working nine to five. Costume change done, and he's off the music. This is not good. If you know, like I know, cuidado, cuidado. New York, Chicago, Chicago. DC, Chicago, Boston, Boston, Kingston, Kingston, London. Even after all of the special time that we made for Jalen to rehearse the costume changes, he still misses it. What are you talking about? I'm sure that he's taking this slip up really hard. He needs to just move on because he finished strong. It's possible that the judges won't even notice. You still knocked it out the box like a performer's supposed to do. No one didn't know that wasn't in your routine. It is not your fault. Because I want to do good. Listen, I know you do. You didn't do good. You did great. Man, yeah, that's OK. That's all right. Amazing! How'd it feel? Good. Good? Yes. What was the lesson this week? What did we need to improve? My face. Your face. face. Beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. The Abby Lee Dance Company started out strong. Our solos were fabulous. I just hope this momentum stays strong for Chloe and Paige's duet. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> they look fabulous. God, I wish I could wear something like that. If it was up to me, I wouldn't have Paige do this duet because I didn't like the way that Abby presented it to her. But I know Paige wants to do it, so I just want Paige to go out there and dance her best. All right, up next to the junior 
Chamber Duet Trio Division, we have Paige and Chloe with Broadway Blonde. negativity with this duet, I thought that Paige and Chloe went out there and they danced amazing. I thought they were together and they looked great. If I were Jill, I would get so tired of falling short of Maddie. I, I didn't have a I dance, would... by the way. No, so I, I know, always fall short of Maddie. But if I were you, I'd really get tired of my kid falling short of Maddie. Your kid doesn't even dance. Well, so you know what, but I'm not talking about anybody but you yourself, know what? You know what, Mouth? I'm not talking about my kid. I'm talking about your that, kid. That's rude. And you're not rude? Going around throwing water on people's heads is completely protocol. Maybe I don't if we throw a stick, Excuse me. I'm not the one that fell down the ugly tree and got hit by every branch. Yeah, look again, baby. Oh, and Jill, the next time you say something, About your own technique, your lines, your feet, your legs. Keep those knees squeezed together, Maddie. Contestants number 88, Candy Apple Style. One, two, three. Now, wait a minute. Oh my God, we're like bumbling idiots. Finish your lines, girl. You're like quad hoppers. That foot banging on the ground. Devil pain, tighten the back of the knee. Two, three, stop, four, look, five, six, seven, ha, 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 ha. Yay. Rosa Parks changed history. Thank goodness, in 2013, we don't have segregation anymore. Yes? But we do have winners, and we have losers. It's all for a reason. It's all a purpose, you know? You guys are amazing talents, you know, with amazing abilities. So let's go and shine. I got a quote from Alvin Ailey. There's nothing to prove, only to share. Who? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's right. Well said. Well said. I'm begging you. Don't be the kid that screws this dance up. Do not. I want Nia to be present in the moment, to understand that there are people who made tremendous sacrifices so she could have an opportunity like this. And I want Nia to know that she can aspire to do whatever she sets her mind to and leave her own legacy. I couldn't be more proud. Come on. I think the guys stand a great chance of winning their costume with their, you know, with their performance. Four boys. Competitions are full of little girls, so come on. Those boys are gonna have those girls screaming. All right, up next in the junior small group division, we have entry number 88. This is Candy Apple Style.
nailed it. I know that no Abby routine could beat that. I'm kind of nervous. Kathy's voice did an amazing job, and everyone knows at dance competitions, boys stand out. I mean, the crowd loves them, they're very entertaining, and girls are really a dime a dozen. You know, I know our girls are better dancers, but is it enough to beat boys? I'm not so sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to get started back up in the junior small group division. This is entry number 87, entitled Rosa Parks. It's not about wanting to win. It's about having to win. It's tough to get a group routine together, and we've been losing week after week. No, I'm going to forget before this. No, 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 Don't say it. If you say it, you're stop. If we don't win with this number, there might not be a group any longer. And I'm serious about that. standing there on stage, like. Brooke has been dancing longer than Maddie has been alive. When she's wandering aimlessly on the stage, I'm thinking, how could she screw up a group like that? Oh, it was your <laughs> heart. I don't even think the judges noticed. You're but fine. Brooke, at least it wasn't the whole day. Well, Abby did, and she did. Before Brooke's big mistake on stage, I think we had this one in the bag. Now, I'm not too sure. I just hope the judges didn't notice. Here we go, in the Elite Junior Solo Division. In seventh place, February. In sixth place, working nine to five. Jalen's lesson to be learned today was never storm off stage, never let them see you sweat. In third place, with heart. In second place, entry number 22, look at me now. Kendall Heumann's second in the overalls. I thought she was amazing. I think she did everything that Abby asked of her. And in first place, entry number 34, breaking down walls. Maddie has always been a winner, of course, in my eyes. But for the judges to validate that she won this time is huge for Maddie. She really needed this. Top 10, highest elite junior duet trio. In third place, entry number 67, Born to Hum. In second place, entry number 68, Putting on the Ritz. And in first place, 
for top 10 highest elite junior duet trio, entry number 72, Broadway Blonde. I'm so happy that Chloe and Paige went out there and won because if they would have went out there and lost, I, I would have never heard the end of it from Abby. And I think that, you know, Paige went out there and she made Abby eat crow because she showed her that she can dance with Chloe. For highest elite junior small group, third place, entry number 81, Pure Love. <laughs> Second place, entry number 88, Candy Apple Style. <laughs> I can't breathe at this moment. Who is going to win? First place, entry number 87, Rosa Parks. First place, from doubts about Abby's choreography, about that she's going to be able to portray Rosa Parks in a two-minute number. But there's a moment in the dance when Nia has to put herself down and Maddie walks on her back. And I'm like, oh. You know, it's just such a powerful symbolism. Abby did a, a lovely job. Kathy hasn't shut her trap the whole day. Because she thought they were going to win. And now she's like, Doop. Kathy has been talking crap all competition. She has been in our face all day. Cat got your tongue now, Kathy? And that little boy whose dad never shuts up. Oh, my God. Like, his kid couldn't do half the dance. That's why he was off a of stage. If it isn't hip hop, he can't do it. I personally think that dance dads are way worse than dance moms. And you know, Jalen's dad has definitely proved that. Jill, you know what you should go in there and say? No, I'm not going in there. Yes, you are. No. Last time we faced Kathy, there was a big fight, and I missed it. Now, I want a chance to go in there and gloat, and I want all the moms to come with me. If we all go together, we'll go. Melissa's all on board. If well, we're all going to go in as a team. Which... Melissa, are you going to say something? I was saying stuff to her in the dr in the. Uh, yeah. All right, Melissa, we'll go I'm in as saying... long as you say something. I'm not saying anything. Melissa talks a lot of smack when Kathy's not around, but when Kathy's around, Melissa's all like, oh, Kathy, I love your dress. If we go in, we have to go in as a team, and we have to stick up for one another. Should we all go with a bottle of water? No. No. <laughs> I'm happy that we got what we got. We're not going to walk away losers. We're going to walk away that, you know, we're number two. We're going to try harder again. Uh, hello. Wait, wait a minute. Wow. Where's our bodyguards? Wow. They're not working Where's very well. Quarter turn Only to the right. It. Oh, ladies, when you do that quarter turn, suck them in, suck them in. These moms are mistaken if they think that they can intimidate me. They may have a win today, but it's not going to happen again. Your son did two minutes of the dance because obviously he can't do the ba the dancing portion of it. He can only do the hip hop. What has your child done outside of this on their own? Simmer this down. nice kid has more talent than his little finger than your kid. Uh -huh. Oh. Wait a minute. Kelly. Because he can do more styles of dance. Kelly. Yours can only Kelly. spin on his head. Every time I've seen your kid, they do the exact same move. There's nothing different. Kelly's throwing a lot of stones for someone whose daughter forgot the routine. My routine had no mistakes. Oh, Kelly, how soon we forget. Kathy, maybe you should have spent the money on more lessons instead of improving the studio. Bye. Or maybe a Thank little... you. Always a pleasure. are pole bears out there. They're not bodyguards. They're carrying that casket down the hallway. <laughs> Kendall, you were told to use your face. You used your face. That was your lesson this week. You did it, and look where you were. Daddy, you finally climbed that uphill battle. You knocked down the wall. First overall high score. Deservedly so. You were, I thought you were brilliant today. All right, how about my duet? I told you we could do it. Yes, you were pretty sassy up there. What about the group? Woo! Woo! Brooke, 
Were you just waiting at the bus stop for the bus? <laughs> what? I don't know what happened up there, but the bus was moving, the bus was happening, and Brooke was just kind of standing at the bus stop waiting for everybody to get on the bus. <laughs> what did she do? Nothing. That's the problem. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. <laughs> Well, I just want you to know that I think that Rosa Parks will be very proud of you. <laughs> Thank uh, you. You did a great job. Great Thank job. Thank you for giving her an opportunity. You were a big distraction from the bus stop here. <laughs> I'm patting myself on the back because I did an outstanding job with the costuming. I knew we were coming to Ohio. I knew she was going to be here. And I just, I just felt like I needed to pull out the stops because I was never going to let her get the best of us again. I'm just not going to do it. Kathy's mishmash applesauce is no match for a fully functioning ALDC. When we're on, we're unstoppable. Kathy's crazy. I mean, all the money she spends, all the money flying these boys in, the same thing with the choreographer, blah, blah, blah. Money can't buy talent. Moms, moms, I want positive energy. If you're going to badmouth me in your house, wait till your kid goes to sleep. Next on Dance Bombs. Mackenzie, you are not in the group dance. Frankly, I don't think you can keep up. If the group dance messes up, it's on Mackenzie. What you got on your finger there? Wait, what? what? This is what she does to you every week, and you let her psych you out. What was that exit about? This is your team. These are your girls. This is your name on their back. So you have to give them some sort of I'm really nervous. <laughs>